St Ives is a market town in the Fens and as a market town we have people coming in from the surrounding villages to the town. There are several churches in the town and lots of different shops and schools and so it's quite a lively town. The Free Church is located in the Market Square and so we're very very fortunate because it's right in the centre of the town and we are open for business. We're open every day of the week but we have um, our little cafe we spread into the hall and um, we have our fair trade shop so there's lots of people coming in and out all day long. We do have a congregation on a Sunday morning. It is a, a traditional worship service but we recognized that there are many people in society who have spiritual needs and ideas but are not very connected with the church. On market day we have a larger footfall and so we've set up a little church in the marketplace we call it which is a pop-up church if you will but it is non-denominational we have volunteers from all the different churches come and help just to chat to people um, be available to them and if they would like prayer or to say something about their circumstances and begin to see that um, church is about life <laughs> and life um, can relate to God in so many different ways. We learned that there is a need for childcare in this town and so decided to set up a Tots and Cares group on Wednesdays. We decided to be very much a Christian Tots and Carers group and be overtly that we were doing running it as a church. We have um, firstly a Bible story through a video clip and then we have a little prayer with them. We have a craft that relates to it and then large play, a snack time and we started recognizing we needed to change to meet them where they were at. And so we decided to have a cafe service where we sit around tables, the families are together, the parents looking after their children and having something for the children to do. And gradually it developed so that we have cafe style worship once a month now. And it's helped us be more relaxed and friendly with each other. So it's been a double bonus. One of the needs of our community were a small number of people really struggling, sometimes coming around to the churches saying, oh, we're in dire straits. Um, can you give us some money? Can you help us out? And so we decided to jointly set up a food bank and all the different churches collect food and then we brought it together at the parish church where a few volunteers help out and we distribute it. So it's seeing where need is, also where of interest that people have. Um, we have a little poetry group, we have a photography group, we have a balls club and a badminton group. <laughs> and so different interests that people have, um, then it's been developing a social life and friendship with people um, to show that church and our faith does have relevance to all of life. All that we do is based first on prayer. We have elders in the church and uh, I as minister will meet with the elders and we think and talk about what's happening in our church and we know that we need to be open to where God is leading us. One of the ways this church opened up was in the door of the church as people come in there is a little porch chapel on the side and when the rebuilding work was done that was made available and people just wander in 
and even if they don't come all the way into the church, they see a little quiet space and we have people all day long who pop in to pray and each day we say prayers at 10 o'clock every morning. Those who come to prayers each morning, oh, half a dozen to a dozen people, um, some of them are those who can't sit for a whole hour of a Sunday morning service. So they come just to prayers and that is their little church service. Pray that setting up different projects can be quite challenging and we are fortunate that we have a good location and, and several people able to do things. It does take some volunteers and people willing to help support something and usually it takes someone with an idea to start a particular project. As a minister, I see my role as to suggest and encourage, sometimes to set things up and run it, but also then to encourage others to take part so that I can step back and set something else up. But each little group started by itself um, with one or two who were interested. That's all it takes, is one or two people interested to run with something and um, a bit of encouragement and hopefully a few more get involved and then the people get involved take part and it snowballs from there what well, we hope <laughs> many people think they have to have a great vision ahead of time as to what they are to do the way it's worked here is simply us being open to where god is leading us and where opportunities have come and we see that God is at work in the world, touching people's hearts, drawing people to himself, and we then can try some things out, and God will lead as we go along, really step by step. Mm -hmm.